queens um you get your own video water sign kings and queens this is the water sign queen reading i was recording i got interrupted because today's that day i'm not supposed to be doing i'm so pissed anyway um um here's what's happening i'm going to reset this i know this is your reading of water sign queens you're very overwhelmed there's a lot of stuff that's going on emotionally for you i mean there's returns and not returns and there's not wanting to return but then wanting to return um, there's attachments, there's insecurities, there's something's missing, and you feeling this unrequited love and separation and not expressing your love, but yet feeling these certain feelings that you have and wanting to love on yourself, but still feeling a tinge of, you know, attachment to whatever situation you're in. That's all so true, and that's probably what it is, so maybe I will just leave it here. <laughs> I don't, yeah, I'll just leave it here. So let's look at what your guidance is, given all this, okay? Um, the first half of this was in the, the previous reading. Um, with all the signs, but it cut off, so I was like, well, fuck it. So, if you needed to see me shuffle, and that's the thing that you really need, this maybe just tell you what. Um, that's, there's a lot going on for you, water sign queens. Okay, so, treasure island, and then there's this death here. Um, you're going through it, that's for sure. That way showing up here. Uh, I mean, there's a lot here going on for you guys um water sign queen you guys are going through it you gotta let go of something and let something hard for you to let go or it's been hard for you to let go because um you don't want to be alone you don't want to mess things up or you want to be orphaned abandoned rejected or reject your bond whatever that is especially with this um sense of belonging that you feel towards this situation but it seems like it's not for you for right now and it is actually a serendipitous event that's happening here what you're being called to do is to surrender so this weekend what you're being called to do is to surrender Okay, Water Sign Queens, this is your guidance for the weekend of November 8th through the 11th. Okay, um, next I will be doing the Water Sign Kings. If someone would like to timestamp it, that would be great, but you really don't have to because they can just fast forward. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, Water Sign Queens, if you're a new Water Sign Queen, hey, happy birthday, by the way, to my Scorpio ladies. Um, is that the noise a scorpion makes? I don't know. Clean it up. Um, it's probably for me. Clean it up, Luce. <laughs> Get your shit together. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's probably not the sound a scorpion makes. But in any case, happy birthday to my Scorpios. Alright. Things will, things will work out in the way that they need to. Okay, water sign? Alright, if you're a new water sign queen and you're watching this video and you're into this good good, before you subscribe, I recommend you checking out my other videos, see if I really am a reader for you. If I'm not, it's all good, we can just part ways and call it a day. If I am and you choose to subscribe, welcome to the family for all the OG water queens. What, what? Hey queen. Uh, I'll see you guys in the comments, let me know how that reading resonated for you. It's pretty short and sweet, but really short and sweet my goodness but really i gave them a, a, some of it in the other what it is is you're overwhelmed and you're trying to decide what to do the romance angels are showing me a lot of what's going on within you um overall what your guidance is for this weekend is to surrender um <sighs> breathing might be your best friend this weekend okay all right babe i'll see you on the flippity flip Hey, Water Sign Kings, how you doing? Water Sign Kings, how you doing? How you doing, with Water Sign Kings? <laughs> how you doing? All right, my Water Sign Kings, happy birthday to you, Scorpios. I was just speaking, guys, the Water Sign Kings for the, the weekend, 8 through 11th, please, of November. I was just speaking to Water Sign Queen, and I was like, is that the noise that a scorpion makes? I don't know, I feel like that's like the sound of the stinger they make. Keep making effort. No, no, make the effort. Um, children is coming out a lot this weekend. I don't know what's going on with that, but there's a sense of innocence here and a trust. Um, interesting. There is something missing in your world and you're probably still healing family issues. This is something that you've probably been healing for quite some time or healing 
into still. Um, you're trying to not control things and let things ride the way they are, even with there's something missing. A part of me tells me that you trust it with almost blind faith, the faith, the faith of a child. Um, <laughs> ooh, um, <laughs> just be, it's not revolutionary saying that. Um, but a part of you may want to make the effort. A part of you may be making the effort in your love life to do what you're being guided to do, which is to take care of what you need to be taken care of and letting go of the control. Or realizing that you have no control over certain things. Um, you may be feeling some unrequited love, or you may just really be feeling like something is missing in your world. This weekend. <sighs> okay. You may be feeling unrequited love due to the separation between you and your loved one, or your affectioned one, or your separation between you and just love in general, not feeling that love. However, you do feel attracted to this person still, so you are feeling that something is missing. Come through intuition with um, someone from your past. And this separation may be making, you know, absence making the heart grow fonder in this type of situation. But with this unrequited love, you may be feeling like, oh, wow, are they no longer um, into me, blah, 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 um, into me as a result of perhaps this separation um as you're dealing with this and letting go of certain control but it feels to me that you have a certain trust over your ish your situation i feel like this is part guidance but mostly excuse me um mostly you feeling the um like it's like the faith of a child Right, it, that that's really what I'm getting from this, the faith of a child. I'm not getting manipulation here. I'm I'm not somehow. It's yeah, I'm not. I'm not getting that. I don't know why I keep getting um, calling your soulmate in reverse on the bottom and pay attention to red flags. So it's calling in your soulmate in reverse at the bottom could be you not necessarily wanting to engage in that type of behavior. But then why is this shit here? You miss, you not miss them, but it feels like you want, you are, um, attracted. Absence makes the heart grow fonder. Absence makes the heart doubt. You know, is what I'm saying with this past relationship here, or whatever relationship that you're going through. Um, but you're dealing with the guidance for water sign kings, please, for the weekend of 8 to 11. Yeah, deep knowing. Um, that's that faith, that trust. Come through, that innocence of the child. Um, what's 42? What's 42? Um, you might be coming to a close with this, but a close could be, what, a year? You know what I'm saying? Like, you may be going through with this um, in a different type of way, or maybe you're trying to figure your way out because at the top I have tribe in reverse, which to me reminds me of that. So you may be moving through that energy um, but entering maybe the tail end of it or maybe entering a new different kind of phase where you are standing up to certain family issues that are going on in your world um, as they affect this connection. Here you have soulmates here, so this is a relationship. Obviously, it's a relationship that I suppose you feel quite some type of way about it, hence you feeling like it's missing and also feeling like, oops, have I maybe lost this person? You do have this deep knowing of maybe this person is still connected to you. That's interesting. Um, or hoping that things are going to work out okay with this trust here. What is the guidance here? What is water signs guidance? Oh, come on. What was 42? Oh, wow, 41, 41. That's awesome. Um, I think 42 is like observer, right? Oh, observers chop wood. So same shit. Um, your your guidance is to still die. Um, your guidance is to continue going through this. Is to man, that's frustrating. Your guidance is to go through this death. Your guidance is to go through this change. Your guidance is to go through this, and it seems like there's gonna be some unexpected either revelation, some unexpected something, or perhaps this soul connection was an unexpected one, and perhaps, I mean. Perhaps your guidance is to trust that things are going to work out with this person or this relationship or with love in your life. You're a single person who is fully, fully single and not in a, in a situation or um, a relationship. Um, 
if you are in a relationship, it's to allow yourself to die, and it's maybe difficult again with this family issues here. The chocolate that's missing is you might be not wanting to be in the space necessarily, but still allowing yourself to be in the space, I suppose, which kind of adds more friction to the connection. But it seems like unexpected visitors are coming into your world. This is unexpected news, unexpected something good, something decent. Um, okay, a lot of times, um, your guidance is to allow yourself to change, allow yourself to... Um, to trust your intuition, where, where your intuition is guiding you, and what it's telling you about your love life, um, especially as it probably pertains to this person here, um, this is the soulmate relationship here. Um, heal what you need to heal, and do what you need to do in the meantime to cater to this relationship. Um, yeah, make the effort to take the step that you're guided to take, okay, um, as it relates to this bond, and your own well-being. I mean, the card that sticks out the most to me is this Ten of Pentacles here with this man who's worked hard with his um, life to, to get to this point. Um, but he's alone. He's worked so hard and he's alone here. So be, be wary of that. Definitely take the steps that you're guided to take and do what you need to do. But don't do so much and end up alone with all the things that you wanted except the soulmate connection that you have. Okay? All right. Um, I mean, the other cards here are Six Pentacles in Reverse. Justice card. <laughs> it's a, what is that? Libra or something? Um, um, the, uh, the, hier the, the Hierophant in Reverse. The Knight of Wands, this is booty time. This is um the Knight of Wands, the Knight of Cups, and the Queen of Wands in reverse. So it looks like the King and Queen came out here. So that's interesting. So, in any case, Water Sign King, I appreciate you. If this is the first time you've checked out my channel, if you want to subscribe, before you do that, I'd recommend you watching the rest of my videos. Not all of them, but some of them on my channel. Just to see, I read mostly for um queens. So if you want to check up on your queen or see what's good in the world of over here, um, and there that is. Otherwise, um, I will see you in the comments. Let me know how this sat with you. You got your own special video and your own special segment. <laughs> so, um, yeah, let me know how you're doing. I hope you're doing well. Um, take care of what you need to take care of, okay? All around. Godspeed. Keep your light on and good luck.